G'day and welcome to uh, February edition of uh, Factory Walk. Just um, designing some new packaging for our uh, sample kits. Uh, we ship these all over Australia and uh, it's starting to take off uh, shipping these around the world. So we've decided to um, design some uh, new packaging to uh, house these and make them quicker and easier, obviously, for us to put together and ship around to uh, people that are requesting a, a sample kit uh, to design their build. So it's very exciting, great to see. All right, so let's go and have a look outside and see what's going on. All right, let's, uh, let's go and take a look and see what's on the cutters. We've got some uh, relief cutting going on here, so I think this is a, uh, a solid sided uh, slide on canvas. So instead of uh, your typical canvas sides, this one, this kit we're uh, getting done now is uh, solid sided, so insulated uh, slider. Yeah, this one here uh, looks like that one there, 21069. That's a uh, that's a new uh, roof for an old top top camper. Someone's roof has uh, obviously failed. Timber and ply in it that they uh, like to use. So uh, we do replacement roofs for uh, people when they're doing their refurb of their old uh, top top camper trailer. So we do quite a few of these. Looks like we've got a jumbo height uh, refrigerated truck body onto the lamination tables at the moment. So. You can see the guys are doing a test fit of all the inserts. So these particular bills have some plywood uh, down the bottom of the wall. Uh, that's for extra strength for the uh, pallets and forklift tra traffic that's going to smash into the side walls. So that's what they do. They've got um, some hinge plates into the side walls. So that'll be for the mounting of the uh, three hinges that goes on uh, each door. It's probably got barn side doors by the look of that. So. They're getting pre-glued in, ready for uh, the lamination process in a couple of hours' time. Got a roof panel here for the uh, for the said truck, so it's going to end up 105 mil thick. So uh, it's got a roof plate in it for the mounting of the chiller unit, and we've got uh, some conduit running from end to end. So it's probably about nine meters long this body. So uh, we could, in fact, uh, be assembling that one here, so we can bring you that uh, as we do it. These are the beginnings of the uh, of the jumbo height five hinge double cam lock rear door for a refrigerated truck body. So you can see the amount of uh, steel plates that it has in there, obviously for the five hinges, plus all the double cam lock gear that you use to uh, open and close these doors. So uh, that's all the plates being pre-glued in. Lots of uh, fiberglass sales going on as always. Um, we're a heavy supplier of fiberglass sheet to industry and uh, DIY, so there's always plenty of these orders going out the door. Let's have a look next door and see what's going on in assembly. All right, so it looks like we've got some uh, bit of order back in place here. We had panels everywhere here last week, so uh, we've done a lot of panel stacking over the weekend. So uh, we've had a lot uh, disappear from here this morning. We've got this crate here is going to WA. The DIY kit will be collected shortly. This one's off to the north side of Brisbane. Two service truck bodies there. There's a... Uh, three slide on campers over here. This uh, big caravan here, it's off to WA as well. So we've got two jobs uh, today going out to WA. It's good to see, long way from us here at Styromax. This is uh, Grant Woodward's uh, square drop camper. Uh, it's coming along really well. We've got the driver's side wall up and uh, Gabby's gone along and inserted all the uh, internal walls here. So let's check that out. You can see here how all the uh, how all the panels have been uh, keyed and little pockets uh, machined in for this all to lock together like a, uh, like a big Meccano set. So this is uh, very, very strong, brilliant setup. As you could also see in the, uh, in the roof panel here where all the pockets have been machined in to the opposing uh, pegs that are in the top of all those uh, internal panels. So that'll all lock together when we glue that roof on in a couple of days time. Okay, so this is the uh, passenger side wall. 
it's ready to go on. Gav's come along and he's uh, pre-cut all the Styro Seal LT, uh, glued these into place. So this wall's ready to go and you also notice some pockets that are in these walls that of course will uh, line up with the, uh, the pegs on the left hand side of the body. Okay, now Roger's, uh, Roger's old uh, Judy Baker. We've uh, well advanced into the CAD on this now, so uh, I've actually got a little quick CAD model uh, of the truck. Married that to the box on the back, so we'll show you some images of that. This truck will uh, probably be here for the show day, so uh, I'm kind of hoping that it is because it's a, it's a real crowd pleaser. Um, everyone that's come in here has headed all the way down the back here just to check this thing out. Because we've got a, uh, a floor panel here for a uh, slide on camper and it uh, utilizes our HD 300 uh, styrofoam for a floor. So that's a one piece floor panel they'll just drop on. So yeah, we've got uh, quite a few, like two, probably six, seven, eight uh, slide on kits here at the moment. So they're proving pretty popular uh, build here at the moment. So, okay, one thing I can announce is that uh, we have decided to uh, hold our first DIY event for 2021 on March the 27th. So we shall put a link up to the uh, show event here. So make sure you click on that and register your interest. So these are pretty big days. They, uh, they go from about 10 until two. Um, so we have uh, all of our um, industry partners come and join us on the day, along with uh, a whole pile of customers who come and show off their build. And uh, they're the key ones to talk to because you can really get in depth with them and ask them the build questions that uh, only they can sort of answer. So um, it's a really great day. So please make sure you uh, join us for that. Okay, now due to COVID, uh, this old girl's been uh, sitting around for uh, quite a while. So uh, it actually goes on the night. So uh, I'm going to be sorry to see it go actually because so many people have uh, come in for factory tours. It's kind of the first one they see when they come through the uh, through the office or showroom door. So. Uh, Anyway, it's uh, going off to its uh, home with um, Victoria and Luke. So uh, I hope you enjoy your bill uh, when you receive and uh, hope you have many years of uh, traveling in it. All right, so that's all we've got for you on this episode of uh, Factory Walkthrough. Um, hopefully you enjoyed or got found something informative. So don't forget to uh, click like and share. And if you've got any questions or you want to answer, uh, just leave a comment below. See you next time.